Hi there, boys, girls, ghouls, and squirrels. This is Zomboy17 of the 10th Stitch YouTube page coming to you today to talk about axes. We will be covering which axes to use as you progress, how to train your axe skill, combos, the best ways to start them. I know a couple tips and tricks if you're struggling with that. We'll also be covering the uh, Master Strikes, and yes, you can do it. You can. It's in the game. It's just through the training you have difficulties, but I will show you how I did it. So right now, why don't you click down below on that subscribe button. Click the bell no notification icon so you can get notifications from this channel when we put out more great videos like this. And go ahead and like the video as well. I surely will appreciate it. Thank you. So now you want to know how to be a badass slaying fools. Well, when you first start the game, these are the axes you're going to have access to. These first three or four. And they're really not the best. <laughs> so you're going to want to... What I did was use my sword all the way until I got to Rete And could train with the axe in the arena little area with your trainer. And I went directly to the broad axe. Which is awesome starting out because you can just sink it right into people. It staggers them. The blunt on it. It does not de do nearly as much damage as swords do. But it does pretty good against like different kind of armor types. Um, it's got the slash. It's got that blunt that I was talking about. And this is the first axe where you really start to feel like. Okay I'm using an axe. I'm getting in a battle. I'm chopping people up. But after that you want to get the heavy battle axe. You can go with just the regular axe, and there are some merits to that one. It's got the spike on the top that you can stab people with, and it gives you that puncture. But honestly, when I'm using the axes, I, I don't use that a whole bunch until later when I got my combos, and I'm using the first combo you get, the blunt strike one. And then in that point, you're using the top of your axe to initiate the combo and it works pretty well uh, I mean I used it a lot once I figured it out at first I could not figure out combos to save my life so that axe really didn't mean much to me I just went straight for that heavy battle axe once I got my strength trained up and it worked really good for me until I moved on to the larger ones because you've got a significant strength jump there so definitely use the heavy battle axe uh, while you're progressing through I mean as you can see right here I just, I saved right outside of bandit camp, I got all of the different axes and I went in and attacked with each one to see how quickly each one does, if it had any benefits with the spike over the just regular like heavy battle axe or the metal plated axe or anything like that. With the heavy battle axe you're going to want to definitely use a shield because it's, uh, it takes so much damage so quick from blocking, it lowers the damage that you're putting out against them so use a shield on the earlier axes because they do not have the durability that the metal plated battle axes do um, and now let's get into the metal plated battle axes so we've got the metal plated battle axe that does not have the spike at the top and it only has a three stab so it's got a higher uh, slash and the blunt and I really like the blunt because I can get through and nail people with just like you know chain mail on and stuff and this still decimates him but then when I come up against someone with uh, plate mail and stuff I can still smash him it may take a little extra work but once you get those combos down you can just drop them it's not that hard uh, and so now let's get on to the training portion so to go and get training for axes, uh, you're going to want to go to Rite. You're going to want to get through the first few quests and stuff that they send you on. And then uh, Captain Bernard will be sitting outside the east part of the gate at the fighting arena. Not only can he train you in combat, but he can also give you a really helpful side quest uh, where you go out and you hunt down bandit camps and he pays you for the... Uh, spurs of the captain and ears of all of the bandits you kill and that will keep progressing throughout the game kind of it'll after you finish with captain Bernard and you finish all the missions he has he sends you on to Tomberg and you can really build your strength and get your combat skills up immensely by doing those I would definitely recommend doing that 
But not only that, jump into the arena with him and start doing just regular practice fighting with practice weapons. That'll level your strength, your defense, your warfare, and your axe. And uh, also, it's a great place to practice combos with him. There's a few different options. I like to do uh, real weapons. I'd like to train, but I want real combat with real weapons. A bit cocky, ain't you? But all right. I like a man with a bit of piss and vinegar in him. But early on in the game, it can get expensive if you're using armor that costs a lot to repair. So uh, definitely check that out. So if you take advantage of all of those, you build your perks up and you're using your broad axe, you finally get your metal plated battle axe, you've been training with him, you've been doing his side quests, doing a little bit of the storyline, you'll start getting really proficient with your axe. And then you're going to start getting your combos and it's really hard at first and the more experience you have in axe, the better you'll get at combos. So I'm going to show you the three different combos and you can use them with a shield or without the shield. This is the footage right here. This shows the combo with a shield and then without the shield. If you're having a lot of difficulty and you can't get a combination, this is the way to do it. Hold your right trigger like you're going to attack, move into him so you get in a clinch, and then click it again to, like, repeatedly to kick him away. And once you do that, it stuns him for just enough time to initiate your uh, attack, your combo, and it'll, it'll help you immensely. It works really well with the shield. It also works without a shield. You just initiate that clinch by holding the trigger coming at him like pushing into him and then it'll start that clinch then you just tap 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 on your right trigger and it'll push him away if you have the strength to do so all right and then now on to master strikes as i promised um so you can and you can't do it in the game in this training this is where it would start where it's like okay i'm going to teach you how to do the master strike the parry and um you can't do it because of the last patch it, it messed it up for axes maces everything except for swords swords can still do it uh, hopefully it'll be fixed and this will become an obsolete part of the video but i was able to achieve one just out of random luck i mean i tried this for hours like i've got like six hours log trying to get these master strikes just out fighting enemies and uh doing this with him just hoping maybe it would glitch through and get it done but as you can see, you block and it, nothing happens. So I'm going to show you the one I got. And it's just one I blocked and it immediately just like parried and punched him in the face. It was crazy. So here I am. I was blocking some hits from him. Blocking. I started moving down here. I like glitched into this tree a little bit. And then wham, I got him. And I'm pretty sure that was a master strike. If it's not, I'm not sure if someone could tell me. I'm pretty sure it was though. Because it was like right as I was blocking him. And then, bam, that, that's it. That's all I could do. And then for hours and hours and hours, I ran around the forest chasing people trying to do it. So, this is all the knowledge I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, don't forget to like this video, comment down below your thoughts, and subscribe to the 10th Stitch YouTube page so we can see more awesome content that I'm going to be putting out over the next few weeks.